so on every oscilloscope you can find there is a calibration points available on the front screen so on every CRO it, it will be mandatory it, the company will provide this one so the purpose the main purpose of uh, why they have given this is uh, to check that whether your CRO it is a uh, calibrated or whether it is giving uh, the accurate measurement before starting any measurement if it is available you check I will show you with the help of one probe so this is the calibration point they ha have you can observe here this is a 0.2 volts calibrated square wave it is a 2 volts the signal source it is coming out of this calibration points so you can take one probe and meanwhile you can check the probe also whether it is working suppose if I connect this point you are getting one square wave there signal so measurement I will show you later how to measure the amplitude and all first you check whether the signal is coming so if it is coming your probe is working properly and this scale point is also working here also I can show you these two points are working fine so and this your probe is also there so since I have connected to channel 1 suppose the same thing if I want to see at the channel 2 I will connect this probe to the channel 2 so you are getting nothing there because CRO is searching signal at the channel 1 since this button is in release condition if I want to switch over to the channel 2 only what I should do is I have to press this button now you are getting this square wave this is a very important point you remember if you press this the CRO is searching signal at channel 2 if you release this then it is searching signal at channel 1 you have to connect to the channel 1 so this is how you have to check the probe with the help of this cal point calibration point you can say and one more thing is if you press this ground button you are getting this stress line the signal what is coming it is being grounded it should be in release condition observe this is the ground button and I show you invert point since it is a square wave you are not getting that much uh, accurately the inverted signal I will show you with the help of the sine wave this is invert point means 180 out of phase it will go so this is the functions you have to remember different functions of different buttons ok if you ob observe the screen of CRO so it is being divided divided into different divisions main divisions as in if you observe here horizontally it is divided into 10 divisions 10 divisions vertically it is 8 divisions so observe here so it is horizontally I am counting here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 divisions vertically along with y axis 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 divisions horizontal divisions are 10 vertical divisions are 8 that means it is y axis and it is under x axis to measure the any signal there is a rule how to measure you have to apply the signal and observe suppose if it is sine wave I am showing you sine wave so for voltage measurement that is the amplitude measurement I am saying amplitude measurement you have to consider the divisions that is covered by this signal in the y axis total divisions total divisions so I will write the formula here amplitude measurement v peak to peak how to measure is uh, calculate let the divisions vertical covered by signal multiplied by this observer volts per division now amplitude measurement I am saying peak to peak this is the formula vertical calculate the divisions vertically covered by signal 
and multiplied by volts per division knob that will give the amplitude in peak to peak i will show you practically mm. so here i have a source signal source function generator to apply this signal so i am taking two probes channel one i am using here also one more probe i am taking you can take bnc to bnc for measurement or setting the voltage so i am taking two probes bnc to this uh, crocodile clip so anyhow i am making these two probes on parallel on breadboard no problem i am connecting here like this you know that how to connect the breadboard vertical slots are connected each other mm. Mm. Just I have taken two probes, one is from the FG, another is to CRF. I joined these two probes on the breadboard. Joined means vertically, in the vertical slots are there. See here, I am getting sine wave here. Sine wave. Sine wave here. Here on function generator it is amplitude now. How to measure the amplitude I will show you. Here on CRO you can find here there is will be white line will be there for measurement. Since it has become old it is not correctly visible. Here volts per division now we have to observe. This is 1, 2, 5, 10, 20. It is a volts and here it is 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 volts and it is in millivolts. What is this? Is 5, 10, 20, 50? It is in the millivolts. 5 milli, 10 milli, 20 milli, 50 milli. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5 volts. It is in it is in also volts. So 1 to 20 it is volts. 1, 2, 5, 10 and 20. Now, as I told, the signal first you have to calculate the vertical divisions covered by the signals. Any reference line you can take, no problem. So first thing you just you just make the signal ground, take any reference and this thing. Now I have taken this as a reference. You see here, minute on signal. Here I have taken this as a reference by using this Y position. Here you can calculate the vertical divisions. How many divisions it has covered now? From here I can calculate one, two, three, four divisions. Exactly it is coming at 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 into 2. It is a very simple mathematics. 4 to the 8 volts you are getting now. 8 volts peak to peak signal. Suppose you are getting any odd number. Just I will show you. By increasing the amplitude. Now see it. See, you can change if the signal length goes high, you can change these knobs, no problem. Anyhow, up, by changing this, your voltage will not change, only the multipliers will change. So, that you remember, everybody will confuse in that manner. So, if you do like this, if the signal is magnified, it is only the magnified signal you will get. There is no change in the end result. It is only numerical value changes. No voltage will be changed. See here. If it is signal goes beyond your screen, you have to use like this. If it is like this, to get accurate measurement, you have to really for your convenience, you have to use this knob. So suppose I'll keep like this. Now it is at five, and signal covered how many divisions? One. 2, the subdivision is 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. So, what is the value now? 1, 2, 2.6 into 5. You can calculate here. What is our value? Signal covered is 2.6 and the word for division is 5. 13 volts peak to peak you are getting. 13 it is a decimal 2.6 division 13 volts peak to peak 
you are getting this is how you have to voltage measurement you have to so it is a very simple how to measure voltage one more time i'll repeat so first you observe the vertical divisions covered by the signal from peak to peak here it is peak to peak if you take off that becomes only a v peak so entire signal it is a peak to peak of the signal it is a peak total divisions you have to count each sub division is 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 and it is a one total one division so if it is a subdivision so you calculate it as a 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 like that so total divisions multiply with this value will give voltage peak to peak it is a voltage measurement that is amplitude measurement on the cr